as we get you set for game one of three this weekend between the Auburn Tigers and the visiting Texas A&M Aggies. Gonna have to make a pitch in the zone to get him out. He will not go chasing. He will not leave the strike zone. I had to chase one there. Excellent location from Nathan Detmer. One, two, threes worked by both starting pitchers. Need difference when it's elevated around the waist. You can just throw it at the knees. Drives one into right field. They're going to wave around Werner. Here's the play at the plate. He's safe. Where they're good, you know, in the middle of the game. And he said, we're trying everything. He goes, if you got anything, I was like, I don't have anything that you wouldn't have. <laughs> well, Detmer's got it working tonight. Four Ks through two innings. And a and with a one run. Anymore, you can go out and, and get some guys that are dudes at lower levels. This one's ripped down the right field line. That's going to get all the way to the wall. Hunter Haas is going to score easily. Throw comes in on the infield. And a stand-up double for Brett Minnick. Drives in the second run of the game here in the top of the third. Watching his three home runs and then this swing right here, I am going to say that the inside part of the plate is just <laughs> a flat no-go. Allows those two earned runs on five hits. Did strike out three and walked one, and this one is hit a long way out to right field, way back there, and it's gone. Jace Lavalette with his sixth home run of the year. That puts Texas A&M right back in this thing. Extends those big arms, and you see some of that raw power. Mm. He takes off running, but man, there wasn't much of, I don't know if there's much doubt. Uh, offensively this year, Auburn 10th in the conference in batting average as the wand comes out there. Detmer with that filthy slider takes, and they really make you pay when you make mistakes. That's kind of the recipe for uh, for a good team. That is a mistake right there from Bauman and taking it 400 feet. Targotch over the left field wall. Well, says about these guys, said Lavalette had some serious power. This guy's got some serious power. This ball is Ooh. obliterated. There is a power station out behind left field, but Barr's been pretty successful in throwing out base runners so far this season. That's a strikeout and a career high for Nathan Detmer. Ten strikeouts. And the one-two. Fly ball, hit hard. Out to center field, way back there. This ball is gone. Three-run home run for Trevor Werner, his fifth long ball of the season, and Texas A&M back on top. Hits it to the deepest part of the ballpark. Trying to go up, ended up going down and in. Stays inside of it and drives it out to center field. That's some serious pop that we've seen right now. It was, was more of a four seam trying to get down the hill with the pitch. On the ground, diving stop by Haas to second. What a stretch, what a play. Howell is saying that he was safe. Ike, he asked him what he was looking for in a coach. And Ike said, Coach, I just want to win. Maybe Auburn can uh, come back and get a win tomorrow. Not tonight, though. Texas A&M picks up game one of the three-game series. This is the eighth win this season when trailing by three or more runs for Texas A&M, second most in Division I baseball. 